Good evening. My name is Tim. I'm one of the pastors here at Mountain Brook Community Church, and I want to welcome you uh, to another John Michael Ogletree Christmas extravaganza. Uh, John Michael and I were talking earlier this week, and we figured that this is number eight. So I, I want to see your hand if you have been here for all eight of John Michael's concerts. Okay. Um, how, who is here for the very first time? Anybody for the first time? Oh, lots of folks. Well, you are in for a treat. Whether this is your first year or your eighth year, every year, John Michael has something going on that, that uh, shocks us and surprises us every year. And so this year, I'm sure, will not disappoint. Uh, some people said, hey, you must know what's going on because the church probably needs to sign off legally on anything that might take place here. I do not, I do not. I have a little knowledge of what's gonna happen tonight, but I'm right where most of you are. So this has become a, a huge uh, tradition for our family for Christmas. Music is such a huge part of the Christmas season and uh, John Michael's concert have become such a such a special part of ours as I know for those of you who raised your hand at eight years it has and those of you who raised your hand at one uh, you will enjoy it many many more times I know uh, let me pray for us and then I don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> I really don't so let's pray father we give you thanks for this evening thank you for this season thank you for the the truth of Emmanuel, God with us. Thank you that, Lord Jesus, you came uh, to be our Savior. And so we do rejoice in the good news with great joy that to us a Savior has been born, who is Christ Jesus the Lord. Thank you for the gift of music. Thank you for the gifts that you have given to John Michael. And Lord, we just pray that everything that's done tonight would uh, fill our hearts with joy and point us to Jesus. In his name I pray. Amen.
Think sometimes we play like hide and seek, and he hides in boxes. So, okay. <clears throat> Ready? Okay, Whoa! Okay. okay. All right. Well, well did not know. give it up. You did not know that give I was in the box, Max. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh, Max, what if I had been in that box? <laughs> We haven't seen each other in 45 minutes. <laughs> huh. All right, welcome everybody. It is so crazy. We are here again. It has been a full year. Um, just so excited to do a dueling piano Christmas show. Uh, Max, as you can see, is just insanely talented. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and kick it off with a song all of you know. fun. Um, so Max Cooper is an amazingly talented pianist. I'm going to sneak behind here. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. I spent all of the budget and how you calculate a budget for a show like this is ticket sales, 
times number of people times zero, and that is the budget. So uh, we've got we've got some names and hats. So I was like frantically uh, scratching a pencil against some paper and just ripped it up. And so now I've I've got a way to showcase what Max and I are able to do. So I'm calling this Christmas song switcheroo. So I need an audience member. Let's see, I'm gonna start over here. Would anybody over here? Yes, come on up here, you. Thank you so much. Oh, you dressed up. Gosh, you look nicer than me. Okay, so I need you to, ch so what this is gonna be, this is gonna be uh, a random Christmas song. Okay, so go ahead and just pick one. Make sure you only get one. Nice. Joy to the world. Joy to the world. Okay, now this is the switcheroo part. Okay, here, hand that to me. Thank you. Lullaby. Ooh, Joy to the World Lullaby. Okay. Max, do you want to take this or do you want me to take it? Uh, just show me first. Me first? Okay. Sure. All right. Well, I do have a lullaby album, so I have an unfair advantage. But <laughs> let's see. Streaming everywhere, by the way. Before. Okay, let's get somebody from over here. All right, it's Grace. <laughs> yeah, just do one of each. We three kings. This is all you. Better not be lullaby. Oh, okay, so you got a minor switcheroo. Thank you so much. So, We Three Kings is normally a minor. So we're yes. in this key. But now we got to do it major. Somebody from over here, uh, first hand, closest to the aisle, yes, yes, somehow, somehow, let's see, I can't see hardly anything, all right, there we go, okay, that's the song first, nice, and then the switcheroo, what child is this, child is this? okay, ooh, a walking bass, what child is this? Max, I think we both need to do this one. Let's do a uh, key of G, so E minor. Okay, so I'll, I'll, uh, what do you want to do? I'll just. Uh, Switcheroo, I'm gonna put Max to the ultimate test. 
I saw this, I don't know where, it was either on Instagram or TikTok, but here we go. Jingle bells, but he's got to play it upside down. Oh gosh, there's, that is not an actual box. <laughs> Okay, this does not look safe. <laughs> Okay, that's enough, Max. You're done. You're done. That's plenty. Yeah. My God. Give it up for Max Keeper. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Yeah. You're good. Chris. Yeah. You can go take a break. You earned it. My goodness gracious. All right. Yeah. So Max and I found each other on social media. You know, there's so many like negatives about social media, but there's some positives um, that a rock star pianist out of Kansas. Um, could meet up and we have like a very very similar gift and we'll be talking about that a little later on in the show but for now back to more music so a lot of Christmas songs have the actual word Christmas in the title of the song and so this is just a medley with a boatload of Christmas songs with the word Christmas in the title so I hope you enjoy
you so, so much. So, I really enjoy tonight for a number of reasons. Uh, I, those of you who know me know that I am spread very, very thin with how I spend my time. I am kind of all over the place, so this is a good place to just update you on how this year has been. Okay, so the new endeavors that I have gotten into, Twitch. Who has heard of Twitch here? Some people, okay. So, Twitch is a streaming platform, and I know some people don't even know what streaming is, but it is a streaming platform owned by Amazon, and it is primarily for gaming. However, the music community in Twitch blew up over COVID. And so when musicians were losing their live gigs, they turned to streaming setups to still be able to perform. So I was booked for a conference and met a Twitch streamer and they said, you absolutely have got to get on this platform. And so I have now, starting in March of this year, I have performed 105 live concerts from my house. So if you have not seen any of them, you need to create a Twitch account and you can search JMO Piano and it is very interactive. Every single song that I play is chosen by the viewers. So I don't even come up with my own set list. And one of the fun things I do is I do something called a live learn. Max is also on Twitch, so you should follow him as well. He does live learns as well. So it, what a live learn is, it's a song that you've never heard, or I've never heard, that you love. I listen to it, and then about two minutes later, I can play it for you. And that is just how somehow my brain uh, is just wired to hear a song and see the numerical makeup of each note and it's like filling a form out and after I've heard it I can just read the form back and so it's a very uh, awesome platform to showcase what I'm able to do and it's just so much fun and they normally start at eight o'clock at night I'm a night owl so uh, that is twitch it's been awesome I'm gonna definitely uh, be doing at least a hundred shows next year as well now the next one is called Explora Journeys this is an ultra luxury cruise line that found me on YouTube and at first it sounded like a very intricate human trafficking scheme <laughs> because we did not, I've never heard of it. They were like, yeah, we'll fly you. And whoever, and I know you've never heard of us, um, but you'll get on this boat and like, it just sounded too good to be true. Well, I, I went for it and rolled the die and here I am. So, uh, and I, I, I can tell you, it is probably the most fantastic vacation I've ever been on. And to actually get to play the piano a custom Steinway for this cruise line out in the middle of the ocean. Like that was just such an awesome experience. So definitely gonna be doing one of those, hopefully every year um, from now on. But uh, my speaking engagements that I had told you about um, last concert and the one before uh, has taken me to Maine. It's taken me to North Dakota. I've gotten booked for Nevada for Twitch. Um, I've got, got booked uh, speaking in Texas, Florida, and Alabama. So it's very cool to see the list of states um, grow, just to see how uh, social media works. And so some of these stats are crazy. So I've posted 100 YouTube videos with over a million views this year. So it, people who say, I could listen to you play all day, well, you can. <laughs> so I, I have 48 hours of continuous music available on YouTube. So that has been a ton of work. Um, so I don't know that I'll be able to keep up with that pace. Um, so anyway, but, uh, but these are just some stats that I wanted to share with you um, because another highlight in 2023 is I just got a very clear vision of what my mission is. My mission, number one, entertain. I can get on stage and the Lord has given me enough of a voice and an ability for music that I can entertain people. And if you leave and all you are is entertained, that's a win for me. However, 
my goal is to take people through this process to educate. You might find out something about dwarfism you didn't know. And then as I educate, I'm equipping you to educate others. And then you hopefully are going to be encouraged after uh, meeting with me and hearing my story. That is my goal is to encourage you. I be believe we're called to encourage one another. And then thanks to my pastor's wife, uh, she said, and then evangelize. I was like, how did I never think about that? But yes, that is truly the deepest level of my mission. And it also starts with an E. So this makes my OCD feel really, I can sleep at night. Uh, and I probably won't add a number six because th this is what I feel called to do. And tonight is a great opportunity for me to be able to do this. So thank you for being part of my mission. So many of you have uh, been involved in my life when I did not know exactly what I was gonna do and I did not have the accolades um, that the Lord has blessed me with tonight. So just thank you for your part in uh, my journey and I'm looking forward to the years ahead as this gets clearer and clearer and the Lord's able to use me um, to the full extent of all the great things that he has planned. So um, I'm gonna play some more. Max is gonna come out at the very end, so don't worry. Um, I didn't get the second piano out here just for that little flip. Um, but I'm gonna do a little poll. I wanna see a raise of hands for Christmas movies that's your favorite. If Elf is your favorite Christmas movie, raise your hand. Okay. Um, let's go with Christmas Vacation. Any hands? Yeah, let's go, uh, how about Polar Express? Okay, uh, let's get some weird ones in there, like Ernest Saves Christmas. Is that anybody's? Yeah, it is so good. It really, you need to give the Ernest movies a, another look. They have held up with time. Um, the Santa Claus, Tim Allen. Oh, it's so good. It's just magical. There's, there's so many magical Christmas movies. So uh, this next, oh, and then I gotta do this one, White Christmas. I feel like some people have raised their hands more than once, but, uh, and then Home Alone, one or two. They're just in a, yeah. So this next medley is songs from my favorite Christmas movies. So I hope you enjoy this.
you so, so much. Thank you. As I was watching that screen, I realized I should have trimmed my nails. I feel like I could climb the wall with these things. And now they're in 4K for all to see. And this is gonna be on YouTube too. Um, but if you play the piano, you, you proper, you, you do use your nails. And so I prefer to play with longer nails. So if anybody's grossed out, I'm sorry. Um, so this next medley is just gonna be all of my favorite carols. I just love Christmas carols so, so much. I'm not a singer, really, um, and I don't really know words to songs, uh, which is crazy. I, I, I love accompanying people, and we're gonna do Joy to the World all together at the very end, so like, it brings me great joy to play for people, but I just don't know lyrics to songs except Christmas carols. For some reason, just, the process of writing them just stuck with me and maybe it's just because I love Christmas music so much, but I do know the vast majority. Um, there's the, the, the sad verse of Joy to the World. I don't know all the lyrics to that one. Um, Tim, you know which one I'm talking about. It's the one everybody usually omits and I think I actually omitted it tonight too. Felt like four verses was a little too much. So, uh, but anyway, so I know most of the words to these carols, so that's how I picked them. Hope you enjoy.
you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So many great Christmas carols this time of year. There's so many great uh, traditions, things to do during the Christmas season. But uh, one of the things that I'm really bad at, that I, I, I buckled down to get better at this year, was to read the Christmas story. And not just the Christmas story, but just dive into the other Gospels as well. And so as I was thinking about just what encouragement to leave you all with, um, something really cool was shown to me that just really is, is part of my story in a deep way, and I wanted to, to share it with you. So the third time Jesus speaks in the book of Matthew, he's being tempted. And in Matthew 4, 7, it says, Jesus said to him, again, it is written, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And that by itself is not all that encouraging. And honestly, it's a little difficult to understand. However, if you look into it, you realize he is quoting Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, if you go back, says in 6.16, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test as you tested him at Massa. So now we have more information. What happened at Massa? So we turn back to Exodus. Exodus 17.7. 7. All what Jesus was referring to and he called the name of the place Massa and Meribah because of the quarreling of the people of Israel and because they tested the Lord by saying, is the Lord among us or not? And that is still such a relevant question today. Is God really here with us or is he not? And so I just wanted to tell you just from my perspective, just the joy that it has been to have God with me. I believe God is my creator. He is my savior. He is my friend, and he is my protector, and he's with me. Emmanuel, God with us. And believer, that is all true for you as well. As a single person, uh, somebody with dwarfism, somebody, um, there, I do have people in my life who are little people that are friends of mine. And I do have pianists, but not my closest friends. No offense, Max. Um, we just met. I mean, there's a long list of people. Um, but, but it's very easy to feel alienated and like you're alone. And I know a lot of you have stories as well to where it's easy to feel alone. However, what Jesus is saying the third time that it's recorded is, am I with you or am I not with you? And I just want to give a resounding yes he is with us. He is Emmanuel, God with us, which changes everything. Like there's so much strength to draw from. There's a refuge to run to. And not only is he following us, but his goodness is following us. And we can overflow with so much peace, hope, and joy, especially this season, um, as this is a very, very difficult season for so many people uh, because God is with us we have the opportunity to rejoice. And so I just wanted to encourage you this Christmas season, um, just be very cognizant that God is with us. And the night he came as a person is so beautifully written by my favorite Christmas song of all time to play. So I hope you enjoy O Holy Night.
Thank you. Thank you very, very much. All right, so as I, ma Max, if you can hear me, you can come on back up to this other awesome piano. So my, I originally wanted to pass out candy canes to everybody, uh, so, but then two things. One, there's a lot of trash, and people are just the worst, no offense, about <laughs> trash. Uh, so you can have the trash in your car, and that will remind you of this Christmas concert. So take a little candy cane or however many you want on your way out. I have plenty. Um, and then also, like, to me, like, after about 30 seconds of sucking on a candy cane, I feel like I could pierce my tongue. They get so sharp. So I, I didn't want anybody to get injured uh, during this concert either. But um, so we have, so Max, again, like, it's just been really fun to have a friend that can do what I can do, except he's 22 and I'm 39. Not as, I'm not as good either, you know. Well, <laughs> well, I was also your height when I was 22, and so this is what, <laughs> this is what playing the piano nice. will do to you, so get ready to find a good clothes alterations place. Um, so anyway, uh, but this is, we've just got so many, um, he's at my house staying and uh, so if you hop on Twitch, Tuesday night, we're going to be doing a live stream together, which is going to be awesome. Um, but he has such a good voice. He can sing, I cannot. He can read music, I cannot. So he's got like a triple threat. And so I just want to highlight his voice um, just for a second. I know he can play and accompany himself. And he said he never sings unless he plays, but it's my concert, so I was like, well, you're just gonna sing and not play. <laughs> so <laughs> so here, uh, here are two songs um, that we just briefly practiced today at my house, and I think you will enjoy it. <laughs> It's the best time of the year I don't know if there'll be snow But have a cup of cheer Have a holly jolly Christmas And when you walk down the street Say hello to friends you know And everyone you will to 
eyes will be near to us once more. Someday soon we all will be together. of a confession. I don't really even know how to do a dueling piano. Uh, I've never dueled on a piano before. So we're just both kind of playing and just playing off of each other. So I don't, I feel like we're doing dueling pianos. Yeah, he actually is a professional dueling pianist though. Um, but this is like a Christmas dueling piano. It's a little different. So uh, I we decided to do the most, um, controversial Christmas song of all time. So here we go. controversial without lyrics. There's no lyrics, it's just an instrumental song. Okay, so this last one, I mean, can you believe it? It is 6.36, it's been over an hour, which is crazy. So this is the last one, this is one of my favorites. I uh, figured this is a good one to end on. Feliz Navidad.
Thank you so, so much. We are going, uh, there's a few things. So first of all, I'm gonna throw a QR code up there. We do not have anything to sell tonight. Um, one exciting thing uh, that has happened this year is I got a partnership with Amazon. And so I'm going to be selling JMO Piano merch early next year and we will have a slew of it outside um, next year as well as a new Christmas album next year which I'm very very excited about and uh, so but in the meantime you can follow me on Instagram uh, Apple Music Spotify YouTube Twitch that is the link for everything and then I'm going to share all of Max's information um, not that he needs it though, he's a lot bigger than me in a lot of ways, uh, but especially uh, social media wise. But, um, but I just wanted to thank you all so, so much for coming. Can't believe it has just gone by like that. I figured the most appropriate way to end though is us all standing and singing Joy to the World. Uh, we just chose the familiar, uh, should we just do the first two, like the first one and the last one? We'll just do two, two verses. Yeah, we'll just do two. So that'll make it a little easier because I don't think we have lyrics. But thank you so much for coming. Uh, Merry Christmas. I will be uh, in the lobby and Max will be as well. So we can say uh, thank you for coming.